Hello everyone, today we are going to do the sticker room from TryHackMe. First off, we are going to start off with the nmap scan, which is nmap a for aggressive scan, dash f for fast scan. We are going to scan the fewer pools than normal. Then dash o m to specify the output of the nmap in the nmap.txt file. And then the IP address of the machine. I have already ran this scan, so I am going to show you the results here. So we only have two ports open, which is the port 22 SSH and the port 8080, which is running Python server, as we can see here. And the title of the page is Cat Sticker Shop. The server header, which means how it enumerated the server to be Workzilk or Python, is via the server header. And then some more info about the page, such as you can see this is the source code of the page and the methods that are supported by the page which is options head and get and some access stuff so i'm going to open the 8080 port on the browser we have already opened that if you look at the page source of this we don't have anything interesting except the summit feedback page of course even if you go to this page for uh, the images you cannot see any directories here it will simply say not found so no way to go there so we are going to go to the summit feedback page and we have here to say please submit your feedback regarding a product and if you enter anything here like hello and then submit it you will see that it says it will be evaluated shortly by our staff which means the comment that we enter here will be seen by the staff and according to the room our task is to read the flag.txt file which is stored here and we currently get the photo one unauthorized error but the staff should be able to see it so the first thing that comes to our mind is trying for the HTML injection or the XSS. So uh, we are going to try a very simple payload there. I'm going to open a Python server here on port 80. And I'm going to use a very simple payload which, uh, which is a HTML code for image, appending an image. So we'll say image source equals to, now here we are going to specify the IP of our server which is 1017 you can see it on the top right corner of the screen or you can just simply use the IP config command of course yep IP config sorry it's IF config and then tunnel 0 you'll see here the IP of your try me so if I press enter here it should make a request to our IP and we should see the request here because we have the server running on port 80 now if I run this server on port 8081 for example, I have to specify the port 8081 here as well. Now if I press enter here and once our command is seen by the staff and HTML injection is an issue in this website then we should get a response here. And we do, you can see this is the IP of the target machine which means the request is made on our server via this target machine on 29th of november at this time and the request was get request to the slash page and this is the http version and 200 is the response code perfect so this means html injection is indeed an issue here a simple thing that we can do to read the flag to txt is of course you can use chat gpt to give you a code that will read the flag.txt file via the HTML injection or cross site scripting. So let us do that real quick. Okay, so I'll give it a prompt and that should give it give us the required code. Alright, so I have provided this prompt to the chat GPT which says I have a text field and it has HTML injection. Now how can I make it read flag.txt endpoint? Because whatever I enter the text field is read by the admin and code is ran on the input side. Now if you tell the chat GPT uh, in some other way that I have a you just give me a payload or you use those terms that are kind of illegal sounds illegal then ChatGPT will not give you any response but uh, this is a kind of uh, you can say in, we are asking it indirectly we have, we have not used any payload or exploit those terms we have only said that we have a text field it has HTML injection I want to read this endpoint because whatever I enter in that field is read by admin so you have to do some couple of trial and errors. I got this on my first try when you know how things work on, you know, uh, I know you get that point. So let's look at the exploit code. 
So we have this one here. <coughs> so the people who are experienced in uh, JavaScript or Java, they can easily understand this or they can easily write the code themselves without using ChatGPT. But I'm not that good in the JavaScript, so I use ChatGPT. Now we, are, we will paste that here. So we are fetching the flag.txt and uh, we will replace the your server.com with our server IP, which is 10, 17, 45, 202. It is using the post method. Okay, I wanted to use the get method instead. So I'll say um, use get instead of post and append the response data in the URL itself. Let us do that again. Replace the yourserver.com with our IP, which is 10, 17, 45, 202. And press enter here. Going back, we should see a response pretty soon. Sorry for the sloppy cut. We did not get any response on our on the server side. So I cleared the uh, so I cleared the terminal, restarted the server again. And notice that we were using port 8081 instead of port 80 and I did not specify any port here so that is why it was not working so I'm going to specify port 8081 press submit again and we should get a response now and here it is we do get the flag in the response you can see here it says THM and percent 7b is the curly brace is, uh, 7b is the starting curly brace I guess and 7d is the ending curly brace so you can go to Cyberchef to decode this from the URL or you can simply just replace the 70 and 7 with the curly braces but if it, is a, if it is a longer string for another CTF you should use the Cyberchef of course to decode it from the URL encoding so say URL decode and we get the flag as we should here so that is it for the box I'll see you in the next one